This is the back. This is one gable here. Another gable over there. As you notice, they're all pre-dadoed. The top shelf is there. And over here is the bottom shelf, ready to start assembly. Stop. This is the unit with center gable and two shelves installed, ready to stand up to be completed. This is what the locker looks like when it has all the shelves in it. One, two, three, four goals. And it has the doors and the hinges on the side of it, as you can see. This is what the locker looks like when it has both electrical outlets screwed into place. As you can see, they're underneath and they're held by two blocks so that they can't seed back any further. And the electrical cord is ran down from one side out and cut through the bottom so you can plug it into an outlet. Um, these are what the lockers look like packed on in place right beside the bunks. Outlets at the bottom. Open it up, big double white storage with four hooks on the top and there's an added coat hook across the top. You can add that if you want. Now these are the lockers when they're fully completed as a whole. Uh, as you can see on the front of the lockers there's two heavy duty clasps that are easily lockable. Now on this side of the locker, this is what it looks like when there's nothing placed inside of it. And as you can see inside is the shelf. There's a plastic clip at the bottom so you can run your electronics cords through down into the outlet which has been placed at the bottom. And above it is two coat hangers and a coat rack. And above this locker is a fairly large area for more shelf storage or whatever you may need. Now on this side of the locker, this is what it looks like when there's stuff fully inside the locker. And yet again there's the bottom shelf, the plastic clip, and the electrical outlet. And same as above. Now as we get into more detail of these lockers, these lockers are made solely of MDF and when coated with stay clear makes them virtually chippable unlike plywood as well as waterproof now what I mean by waterproof is underneath of these shelves here it's a great place to store your electronics your laptops, your cell phones or whatever other electronics you may have with you it's easy enough to run the cords out and down through the electrical outlet and these doors are still able to close and fully lock as with the cord down to the or the outlet to protect motor safety and security. And again, this is what the lockers look like as a whole. And it's fairly easy to put them side by side. Don't take up very much space and are very efficient for what they're made for. Now these are one of the bunk lights. As you can see, they're all made out of MDF, and they come in one big piece that are fitted onto the back of the bed. Each piece comes with one light and one light switch for each bunk. As you can see, it goes for the same on the bottom bunk as well. The light switch and the light, and there's a shelf just above the light too. Now, as we go around to the back of the bunk light, as you can see, it is all one piece that is fitted to the back of the bunk and at the back it's wired through the top light which goes back down to the electrical switch which is therefore connected and ran down to the other switch at the bottom for the bottom bunk and then therefore is ran out the bottom and plugged into an electrical outlet. Now there is a back piece that fits onto this. I just took it off for your viewing pleasure. But there's a cover that goes onto this so the wires are not exposed and it is just nailed into place. 